thank you very much. And it's another legal presentation, so I'm used to doing slides. Uh, so I added flowers <laughs> to make it a little more artistic. Um, so I just want to emphasize that from a copyright perspective, what's old is still old. We still have issues with protecting copyright um, regardless of the blockchain. I was very, very optimistic about what was going on in, in uh, blockchain technology. I've been around uh, from the, the dot-com era and the, the lack of uh, addressing the critical issues in copyright still exist. So I wanted to highlight uh, five of them because uh, we I think this is really important. If we can't handle something that is in, from, we've been talking about legal issues, and that's the threat I've been seeing as the legal issues. If we can't address uh, copyright, which is in the Constitution, and protect those things regarding uh, authors and inventors, we're not going to be able to protect privacy, which is really the part of the issues with, with AI. So I wanted to you know, just emphasize a, a couple of things. Blockchain uh, can be very, very powerful. It's not being used in, in my, am I supposed to press something else? Um, in a way that I would uh, think would be helpful to, to uh, artists in particular. I've been an artist advocate for over 20 years in addition to representing engineers. So um, I think it's, you know, it's time to get some things under control. So, so I identified some underaddressed copyright issues. The proliferation of copyright protected work and calling it decentralization. Uh, this I see in a lot of white papers where they talk about decentralization and they talk about tokens and they create rarity. Um, the rarity is only in the tokens, so for those of you who are familiar with, with blockchain, tokens can be rare. It doesn't necessarily mean that the images are rare and this is confusing to artists. Uh, so using words that don't mean the same thing depending on where, uh, where you are in the, on the learning scale is, is a problem right now certainly for, for artists because artists think one thing when you say it's rare, they think it's a unique thing, um, from, a, from a technological perspective and tokenization, it is, it is not rare. The token itself is rare. Mischaracterization of time stamping as the equivalent of copyright. I see this, I don't even know how many times over the years that I've been seeing this. Time stamping is they're saying, okay, you can get a time stamp and, and prove that you have a copyright. That's not how it works with, uh, with copyright protection. The date and time doesn't say anything about whether what you've uh, made available via blockchain technology is actually yours. It's self-referring. So if you say that it's yours, well, and you're saying that you're getting a timestamp on it, it has nothing to do with whether that's true. Um, using the term permissionless and community to promote the use of copyright protected works without permission. Um, this is another word that is, is misused. Permissionless from a blockchain perspective is you don't need permission to fork from a chain. Right. has nothing to do with the things that are on the blockchain. <laughs> so you need, still need to get permission to use works. So it doesn't cover everything. Um, driving data from copyright protected work and obfuscating it, meaning con confusing it to the viewer, confusing it to the copyright owner. So they can't find the work. So it's been distorted. It's unrecognizable to the artists who are looking for their works to make sure that they're not being infringed upon. So it, gives, it denies them an opportunity to find infringement, and this is something that's pervasive. It's not new. I mean, these things have been going on as long as there's been forever, as long as there's been art. So there's nothing new with that. But most artists I know would more than, be more than happy to grant licenses to people and give people permission. That's one thing about copyright. You can have an oral agreement with regard to the use of uh, copyright protected works. Artists have little, if any, input into the design and implementation of art and blockchain tech, uh, dApps or their, their applications. Um, it's usually they'll ask artists to contribute the work, but they don't actually get involved with the right, rights and attribution. They are given a, a form to fill out. They uh, don't know necessarily what rights they actually have, so they can't even articulate it. So that's, that's a problem. So, you know, unicorns. So all the art here is mine, feel free, you know, to, to use it. All these, these cherry blossoms are, are pictures that I took. That's a like old thing, 1853. So I'm, I'm, I'm down with the copyright stuff. All right, proliferation, try to get permission. You know, there's no reason not to get permission for copyright protected works. Time stamping, copyright as opposed to patent and trademark. The date of first use is not relevant in, in copyright. It could be evidence, but it's not, um, it's not necessary because 
all of us simultaneously could have the same idea and you're still entitled to copyright protection. Permissionless community, still get permission. I mean, everybody wants to, the community is used very often and, and it kind of peer pressures people into giving up their rights. Um, you can still get permission. There's no, no, not necessarily any cost related to that. Data derivation, this goes more to the AI element. Um, to the extent that there's being data derived from copyright protected works, again, might as well get permission. Uh, nowadays, especially if you're dealing with the European uh, community, you're gonna, data is protected in Europe. The United States doesn't have the same laws, so uh, we have to kind of coordinate all that. Artist input, this is pretty critical and very crucial to the success of blockchain technology, in my opinion, that are buying and selling in the, in the business of buying and selling art. Why do it? It helps with your brand. This is something that really, really needs to be done more in blockchain community. It builds trust because your customers will trust you more if there's copyright protection. The artists will trust you more and you get uh, more uh, trust in your, in your community. It helps build community because once other artists know that you protect their rights, then people are more likely to help you out. And then the final thing is you're less likely to get sued if you get a license. <laughs> so that might have been my, my starting slide, but uh, I, I like to lead with the, <laughs> the soft stuff. So thanks very much. <laughs>